basically what we're doing is we're taking uh, trash and leftovers and, uh, and discarded stuff and turning it into this beautiful faceted diamond. So when you go out there on that property, you're looking at it going, wow. As you walk um, down the middle of the space, kind of what I like to call the heart of the village is um, the gardens. It's been a powerful, powerful witness of, of healing and reconciliation that, that we're witnessing as a result of the gardens. I just kind of wanted to reach out there into the bowels of our city and, uh, and find uh, phenomenal value in the human beings that most of us can look at and want to just kick to the street corner. When we were pursuing this space, particularly over the summer, and we were meeting with a lot of those criticisms of similar projects that have come before, whether in Austin or in other places, we would hear language like we were going to put people out there. We were going to dump people in East Austin. For me, that was really heartbreaking language because much more than putting our friends somewhere, we're building something for them to inhabit and to enliven. So much more than ever being rid of the homeless as a problem, we want to hold on to them because they are a treasure. You're no longer living in the weeds. You're living in a home, you're living in a community where people actually uh, care for you. It's gonna be a true place of building community that each decision that we make is contributing towards the whole of the community first vision. And the definition of palliative care is the relieving of the suffering associated with disease without pursuing the cure for the disease. It's that simple. And I believe that poverty is a disease. And the greatest manifestation of poverty that we know of in our country, frankly, are the chronically homeless. So what we do is palliative, not curative, or solvable. We're not trying to solve anything. We're just trying to love on people.